Some big changes could be some coming to liquor sales in South Carolina, and several low country distilleries say it could mean a big boost for business. Live 5's Molly McBride joins us live outside of Beyond Distillery in North Charleston. And Molly, you spoke with several of those uh, distilleries today. What are they hoping for? Well, that's right. House Bill 4231 passed in a House subcommittee last week and is actually headed to the full committee later this week. It would allow counties and municipalities to let voters decide on whether or not to allow stores to sell liquor on Sundays and allow micro distilleries, which are defined in the bill as manufacturers that ferment and distill on site to sell liquor on Sundays automatically. I spoke with the co-owner of Beyond Distillery, Ryan Sadis, who tells me they're actually closed on Sundays because without being able to sell liquor, it's not worth the price of being open. He says a huge part of their business is holding tastings, which are often filled with tourists who are primarily here on the weekends. It's such a tourism driven business and without having Sundays, those are the days that people are off, those are the days that people travel and it would really be helpful for people to be able to not just come here, see what we're doing, but also be able to purchase product while they're here. Beyond Distillery is just one of several that I spoke with today. We'll hear from them all and a sponsor of the bill tonight on Live 5 News at 11. But for now, live in Ma North Charleston, Molly McBride, Live 5 News.